The AG AF100A builds on the feature set that made the AF100 the best little bargain in the business for digital cinema cameras. It's an 8-bit output with a smoothing filter applied that dithers the 8-bit output ever so slightly, but it's in a 10-bit wrapper. Look at the two images that I'm showing you here. On the AF100A, notice that there's a little more dithering to the center of that image. That's what's going to help you through more color gradients than you've had with the AF100. The second thing that we've been able to do with the AF100 is to swap out to a different microprocessor chip so that we are able to give you a two times expanded focus, something we couldn't do on the AF100. The third thing, true, 1080p60 with audio recording. A lot of people have asked for it, now you've got it. And the last is a 239 reticule for your framing accuracy. The AF100 was designed by a group of camera operators, cinematographers, ASC members, film school faculty. They all had input into how the camera was going to work, be designed, and have a build quality. That's what you see in the AF100 and now into the AF100A. Starting with the large imager, that allows you that shallow depth of field so that you're able to get that creative effect of directing attention from one part of the screen to the next part of the screen. The next thing that's going to help you get that is the neutral density filter because if you're working outside on a bright sunny day it's very hard to maintain that wide aperture without a neutral density filter. Variable shutter speeds. Those shutter speeds can be set in either degrees or in speeds, fractions if you will. Variable frame rates. There's a whole bunch of them in here. There's 22 steps in the camera and they include the two most popular ones, 48 frames for that really nice smooth slow motion and 22 to make your karate fighter just a little bit faster and a little bit more fierce. Virtually any lens can be put on this camera with the appropriate adapter. DSLR lenses like Nikons and Canons, prime lenses or cinema prime lenses like the Zeiss, B4 lenses like old Fujinon two-thirds inch lenses, all of those can be mounted onto the camera with the appropriate adapter. You could also move on to micro four thirds lenses. Those too can easily mount onto this camera as well. And with a cadre of lenses, this could be the best camera you've ever purchased.